Well, hello, students, and welcome to another lesson. And this time, we'll be using www.weebly.com. I'll try to show you how to make a free web presence. What I'd like you to do is make a portfolio web page. So without further ado, the first step is to acquire a minimum of six images that you've created in the Gateway to Technology class that you'd like to put on your splash page. I'll show you what I've collected so far. And I collect them in a folder, my downloads folder. You can make a folder. Anyway, these are six images that I've collected from the class, and I intend to put them on the splash page of the portfolio page. So without further ado, type weebly.com in your browser and find that link that says www.weebly.com. Select it. And I'm already logged in. You can log in with your Google account. You can create an account using your school provided web email. In my case, what I want to do is create a new site. So I, land, I end up on this landing page of Weebly.com and I go to the upper right and I add site. You may have to find how to add a new site, but I just need a website. I'm not going to fool around with online store or anything. Keep it simple for this project. So I select it and then I see a tab already set up for portfolio templates. So I select one of those and I'm, uh, I enjoy order. So I select this one and there's already nine images pre-placed. All you have to do is start editing. And you end up on this editor page. What you want to do is type your name and portfolio after it. So in my case, this is my school portfolio page. So I'm going to use Koramatsu. Type it in. Koramatsu GTT Portfolio 2020 dash 2021 and search and see if it's available. It says that it's available only select from the subdomain box. Do not use professional domain as those cost money. This is the free version. And they add a weebly.com extension onto the name that you want. If it's available, you can choose it. Don't ever put your personal email on this web page. There's the link to it. Say done. And then first thing I note is that the title says my site. I want to just change that. So I click on it. You can hit delete and add the title, whatever you like your name to be. And now I've got the proper name. I see the pages here. I've decided I don't want a contact page. What I'd like is home about, and I'm going to add and edit this page. The title of this page is called contact. But if I go to this tab up here, I can select it. And there are my navigation names. And I can also select these buttons and change the name. I'm going to call it student, all caps. Oh, all caps. Student portfolio links. And as soon as I click back on my page, I see that it's changed the name of to student portfolio links. Now these are a, all pages that are editable, editable. So I first want to edit the splash page. I've only got six images, but I see that there are nine images here. I can always delete images by clicking on the X and delete. Click in the corner, X, delete. Click X, delete. You're familiar with that feature. Now you can also click on an image and replace the image with any that you upload from your computer. So select it. I'm going to put 
the dining room movie set portfolio piece first. I'll select this one, replace image, upload from computer. I'm going to add Sadiq City in that position. Remember the project where we made a 3D city. Select this image, replace image, upload from computer. I think I'll add playground there. It's another big project we did. And finally, select this image, replace image, upload from computer. I'm going to add space probe Tenzin to this one. Put that in. And I'm going to delete another image here. Actually, I'll delete both of these images. And let's say I want to add, I'm going to delete the space or two. But I want to have a large image underneath all of these four here. So what can I do? I go to build. There's a whole bunch of different things I can add. Gallery, another gallery, some more text, the title, slideshow, or even just drag image, for instance, right below these other images. And then in this case, I'm just going to need to click on it, upload from your computer. I'm going to add the uh, Santa toy table. And my page is looking very nice. If you want to adjust the spacing, you can always click on these. And there's a spacing option to add spacing up or down. I don't see much need as these pictures are roughly similar in shape. So they look nice on the page. Um, you can make one, any one of these images a button by just selecting it. You can add a link to a picture or a website URL, for instance. So at this point, I'm going to show you. I've uploaded a portfolio video on YouTube under my videos. And here's the link I'm going to add. Um, control C for copy that link, go back to my editing page, click on here, select link, website URL, control B. At this point, I want, I want to make sure that you understand that once you've completed a splash page with six images that are really nice and very aesthetically pleasing, you want to publish. Don't worry if you publish. This is a non-searchable URL. People can't just accidentally find you. The only way a person can see your web page is if you provide them with the link. This is the way the page looks when I click the link or I paste it into my browser. And you'll note, if you click here, it takes you to the video. Or in these options, I didn't put a video link, so I click and it just takes me to a larger version of the image. Now, because I dragged this particular image from the toolbar on the right or left, that is, it doesn't enlarge when I click it. However, I want you to get started. I hope this video helps. Good luck.